Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more concept in operating system that is a threats in operating system. So we know the process, right? So it is a task under execution. Task under execution, we call it as a process and thread is a lightweight process lightweight process and it is a part of a process it's a part of process or we can simply call it as a segment a segment of process that means each process may have a multiple threads okay so each process may have multiple threads multiple threads so what's the reason behind creating these threads means it improves the cpu utilization so by using these threads improves CPU utilization similarly it will increase the performance of application so it will also increase the performance of application see I'll, I'll tell you the example of a process and a thread so that you will be understanding clearly so process means so opening web browser is a process so we know web browser which will connect us to the internet so that is called a process and thread for this process opening tabs multiple tabs in a browser so in a browser we can open a multiple uh, tabs right so that we call it as a thread right similarly you can also say one more example so atm machine consider atm machine as one process and the services whatever the services providing provided by ATM can be considered as a threats can be considered as a threats that means so withdrawal service and mini statement and even deposit if you are going with the deposit machines deposit right pin change okay mini statement all these will can be considered as a threats that means a part of a process so a process can be divided into a multiple threads okay it depends upon the application so it may have a multiple threads or a single thread right and these threads are classified into two categories so one is user level threads and another one is kernel level threads kernel level threads so user level threads will be created by the users and the kernel level threads will be uh, uh, created by using the operating system right so which will be done by operating system which will be done by users users right so that's why we call it as a process is a task under the execution and a thread is a lightweight process okay and it's a part of a process or a segment of a process and each process may have a multiple threads so execution of multiple threads running of multiple threads is called as a multi thread right so each process will be having multiple threads and running these multiple threads concurrently is called multi threading and running a different process simultaneously or continuously is called as a multitasking okay multitasking and multi threading multitasking means executing more than one task at a time 
and multi threading means executing more than one thread at a time right see i'll write here and uh, we'll go with a diagrammatic representation so if you have any doubts definitely those doubts will be get clarified once you see the image okay once you see the image it will be clarified so running of multiple threads concurrently concurrently is called multi thread multi thread so running multiple threads at a time and running of a multiple task the task is nothing but the process right running of multiple task at a time is called multi tasking is called a multi tasking right see so one one type of thread is a user level thread user level thread and created by user and not recognized it is not recognized by the operating system it can, it will be recognized only by the user itself and these are the kernel level threads the second part is a kernel level threads i created by os and these are recognized recognized by operating system right so these are the two categories of threads now we'll see what exactly the proper uh, uh, process looks and how exactly the thread looks see so let it be this is a process this is a process and you can see example let us take this is the threads so a combina combination of threads is known as a process okay process can be divided into multiple threads to run concurrently and to improve the performance and the cpu utilization and see if the process is having only one thread if the process is having only one thread this is known as single threaded process so it is not mandatory that every process will be having a multiple threads right so depends upon the application so uh, the process may have a single thread or a multiple threads right so if the process is having only one thread that is called a single threaded process single threaded process that means only one thread will be there and if the process is having a multiple threads thread 1 thread 2 so let it be and this is a process so if the process is having a multiple threads so this is known as multi threaded process multi threaded process the name itself indicates the process will be having multiple threads multiple threads and there are two more categories so multiple processes this is process 1 and this is process 2 and here we are having thread 1 and here also we are having thread 1 thread 1 so multiple process having single thread in each process right so this is multiple process 
having single thread for each process. So there are multiple processes and among these individual process again we are having only one thread. Right? So this is the third one. And the next one having a multiple process and in each process we are having a multiple threads. Let us take this one. So this, this is a process one and this is process two and this is thread one and this is thread two. So thread one, thread two, right? So you can see here, this is multiple process having multiple threads per each process each process having multiple threads so the fourth category so there are different categories okay different categories and so by creating a multiple threads for a single process so these threads will share the common memory and the data of that particular process right see i'll write down here one important point so if a process is having a multiple threads process having multiple threads right so what we are uh, telling this one this is called a multi threaded process just now we have discussed it right so multi threaded process so if the process is having a multiple threads so these threads shares same memory because so all the threads belongs to the same process so the memory will be shared among all the different threads right same memory and also data can be shared and also the data will be shared Okay. For example, uh, in previous, uh, just now we have seen the example that ADM machine is a process. So all the services will be comes under the threads, right? So all the services will be related to the single bank account. Okay. So that bank account, uh, the account holder itself is a one process. So if, if two persons are having, I mean, if two persons are there, so one person is having one account and another person is having uh, one more account. So these two accounts, we can consider them as a multiple process. And each process, for each account, we can generate the PIN, we can generate the mini statement, we can avail the service of withdrawal, we can avail the service of deposit. And also we can use all the services of these uh, ATM for another account also. So such means all the threads of the same process will be sharing the same memory and same data right and also and also switching between one thread to another thread is also very simple okay so execution of one thread to another thread is also very simple right so that we call it as a context switching context switching so execution or navigating from one thread to another thread right Context switching is very simple because both are having in the same memory. Both are available in the same memory, right? So it's very simple. Context switching is very simple. And, and also creation is also simple. So creating a thread is also a very simple. Creating it is also very simple. And also Inter-process threading is simple. So communication between one thread and another thread is also simple because all comes under the same process. So when compared to the process, inter-process threading, that means a communication between one thread and another thread is also very simple, right? So communication, communication 
between threads is simple communication is simple right and also once the work is completed the termination of threads is also simple when compared to the process so termination termination is also simple okay when compared to the process so in order to improve the utilization and the resource allocation so the process can be divided into a multiple threads and each thread can be uh, executed concurrently right so this is the so that's why we call it as a thread as a lightweight process lightweight process it's a part of the process right so we'll stop here in our next session we'll see the differences between process and thread right so hope you understood this uh, today's session so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much